Hello, my name is Ron Panvestic and welcome back to No Man's Sky. As you can see here, my voice is really bad because my throat is killing me. There was no episode on Saturday, but this is the one that's going to be on Sunday. It's going to be a very short episode, mostly detailing the mods that we are going to have on the next episode. Yeah, because the next episode, what I'm planning is starting a permadeath series. Uh, the mods will be linked in the description, but these are I'm also gonna say them here. So the mods are Red Mass's spaceship generation, which is made by Red Mass. The description of the mod states that this mod creates a new spaceship procedural generation design, revision, and more procedural part variations. The modded ships will be will be like a vanilla one and it doesn't change the inventory slots. I've seen like one or two of the ships that are kind of cool looking. The next thing we have is... <laughs> no Man's Sky, the next big adventure. Again, a mod by Red Mass. And the only thing... This is actually a compilation of mods, but I couldn't find too much information about them. The only thing the description states is this is a fan-made update for No Man's Sky. Hundreds of modifications to the vanilla game. This is one of them, by the way. This is not present in the original game. This is from that mod, I'm pretty sure. The next thing is... Constructs by JTD Carthage. Constructs is a mod that introduces new custom-made original design sci-fi themed building props across different planets. It is also a tech demonstration of the No Man's Sky DK toolset. Now I have no idea what that is. And last but not least, it is Fantastic Beasts, again, a mod by Red Mass. He actually has kind of a lot of mods and most of them are really interesting and they do look very well polished. The mod changes creature sizes, numbers and, be and behaviors. Flying lizards are bigger, birds bigger and flight improve, which it actually states here they go slower, slower and closer to the ground. Bigger and slower flying snakes, which you know how much I love the flying snakes. Massive T-Rex spawn is possible, and more creature encounters than in vanilla. This is actually kind of one of the cooler mods. I already had a slight experience of it on this world. But yeah, I've been missing for the past 24 hours or more because my throat has a bacterial infection and I haven't actually been able to sleep too much because of the pain. I am taking antibiotics, I did go to the doctors, um, but mostly everything regarding using my throat is really painful. I'm pretty sure my voice has changed, I can actually feel it. It's uh, So this is going to be a really, really short episode, I'm pretty sure it's not even going to have 10 minutes. I can't actually see OBS at the moment because I have uh, all the mods up in my other screen, but yeah. That's basically going to be a... This is not going to be the save I'm going to do. I decided while I was sick, while I was lying in bed, I had really nothing better to do. I'm watching... I'm mostly watching GSL, which uh, for those of you that don't know is the Global Starcraft League in Korea. And I'm watching the ones I missed for February. And I was thinking that instead of doing the mods, because I was browsing mods on my phone, there actually aren't that many mods for No Man's Sky, or at the very least, um, not as many as I'd like. So doing a review is going to be kind of hard. I mean, that's going to be like 10 episodes and that's that's it, we're done. Because most of the mods are... <clears throat> sorry, that's really painful. Most of the mods are... Um, how do I say it? Haven't been updated for a while, and that means they will not work with the current version. So the ones that are updated, these are some of the bigger ones. There are other ones. I was planning on using one mod that actually overhauls almost everything in the game, but it ends up being kind of buggy. And when I did get it to work, most of the assets were 2D red uh, paper-like trees because it's supposed to replace a lot of the fauna and flora, but something bugs out and it just refuses to do it on some planets, not on all planets, on some planets. And the ones that it does actually work, they look really 2D, and when you do actually go to mine them like this, you don't see the uh, mining icon on them. You just mine them, and they're not even, they don't even vanish when you mine them. 
So I actually had to remove that mod because that's really annoying. Uh, anyway, the other mods, there are many other mods. Most of them are some, you could call them cheats. Like for example this, I didn't know this mod, which is the all-in-one, the next big adventure. Uh, it has this in it. Okay, that requires an advanced mining view, which just instantly mines. I mean, I don't really mind that that much. You know, this it's just gonna save me a lot of time, mostly. We are gonna be doing permadeath, as I said, uh, so there will be no going back. Uh, I'm not doing this recording on permadeath. I'm doing it on creative because, uh, you know. Um, I don't want to just end up dying because on permadeath you spawn with less HP, with uh, less shields on a hazard on an extreme world. I believe I could be wrong about the world. There's a lot of damaged parts. Your ship isn't nearby, and so on and so forth. So it's actually kind of hard. But yeah, so I have been sick for the past two two-ish days. It's actually gotten worse y yesterday, and I did go to the doctors. But anyway, I should be fine by tomorrow, I think. And my throat has gotten a lot better, I can actually talk now. Uh, I, that didn't used to be the case. But, hopefully tomorrow, as you can see it's kind of beautiful this thing. So tomorrow, I'm sorry for this uh, short update video you could say, uh, for those of you that do enjoy the No Man's Sky series. But tomorrow there is going to be a modded permadeath series. I'm not gonna do a vanilla permadeath series because honestly that's like the normal survival series, it's just gonna be the same old thing. So it's gonna be a modded permadeath series and hopefully hopefully some of the mods, I'm actually really annoyed at this because when you walk, you actually walk, you don't sprint. And sprinting speed goes down and the jetpack is infinite and these are things I'm actually gonna have to look into either turning off somehow or straight up removing, I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna do that. And the crosshair is a bit annoying. It is, it really is. I just like it. But everything else though, environmental changes, they're good. They're good. This is mostly what I've seen. I've seen a little bit more. I've seen the animals as well. On this planet, in fact, you can see these on this planet. Yeah. And they are actually aggressive. Enjoys the hunt, I believe it said. It enjoys the hunt, yeah. Uh, it, enjoys it. it actually doesn't say if it's aggressive except that it enjoys the hunt, but if you do go close to them, they do attack you. That's gotta be the thumbnail, by the way, I did make a picture quickly. Anyway, that's gotta be it for me. I am really sorry that there hasn't been an episode yesterday and that there really isn't gonna be one today. I did promise that there was gonna be one, but I haven't actually felt all that good. Hopefully, though, tomorrow I will be much better and there will be episodes coming out. For now though, my name has been Rampant Mystic, I hope you enjoyed this episode of No Man's Sky and I do hope to see y'all in the next one.